Good. How's everybody? Good. How are you? Good. Good. But Byron, without Minka Fitzpatrick and TJ Watt, the Steelers pretty much had one game wrecker on defense, and that's Cam Hayward. He was matched up with your struggling left guard, Luke Gedeke, pretty much all day one on one. Why wasn't there more help on Hayward from Gedeke? That's something even Todd Bowles alluded to on Monday. Uh, I got to do a better job of helping them out in those situations. Obviously, it's, well, it wasn't that simple, but I just got to do a better job of helping them out. That's really what it come down to. All right, Byron, um, it looks like, obviously, you guys are probably going to have to count on Kyle Rudolph a little more with, with Cam out. Is he healthy enough or is he capable enough at this point in his career to give you all quality reps? Uh, I believe so. I believe there's something still left in the tank. He's been having great practices really since he's been here. Now he's had enough time to really know what he's doing, to know the system, understand how we're going to use him and where we're going to use him. So I think we'll be fine there. I think we'll be fine with Kyle. He's a Pro Bowl guy. He's a guy that's been in this league, that's been around a lot of football. So I believe we'll be fine there. Right, we'll Plays you could spend, um, you know, has appeared to allude to, especially on first down, a lot of predictable uh, situations leading into predictable situations on second and third down, specifically with those runs. At what point do does it become a concern? At what point do you look at what you're doing as a play caller and change that to provide uh, more unpredictability on offense? Well, I look what I'm doing as a play caller every week, right? I look and see what I'm doing. Obviously, everybody had their opinion. They had those opinions really since I've been here. Understandable, but we're always doing the right thing that we feel as though for our ball club. Obviously, we need to be better on first, second, and third down, to be honest with you. We're working to get that done, but we're just working to get that done. We're working to be better on first, second, and third down. As far as the first down runs, though, you look at it, uh, EPA, you're 32nd in the league. What up when you pass on? 32nd in the league and what? And expected points out at EPA. Um, and if you look at in passes, you guys are sick. Uh, you know, stats, they're stats. They, don't, they, don't, they tell the story. They don't lie. So um, just wondering what the, why the, I don't want to say stubbornness, but why continue to run the ball on first down when it's been ineffective? Uh, we do what we feel as though the best thing for us to move the ball and to score points on every down. Byron, how often or how much is uh, referee tendencies factor in when you're developing a game plan? To who? Referee tendencies. Some crews, they throw flags on certain things. Some, they don't. How much does that factor in when you're developing a game plan? It's huge. We, we have a great awareness of who's refing the game, tendencies, what they're doing, who's in this, who's collectively as the group, as the staff or the referee staff. So there's work done on that every week on who we're going to have every week. Byron, on third and one in the fourth quarter, you opted to run at that matchup again at Cam Hayward with Luke Gedeke blocking one on one against him. That did not work out well. That's not a true Tristan, statement, but okay. Okay. Tristan Wirfs is probably your best offensive lineman. Shaq Mason's your best guard. Why are there not more runs behind your best players on third and short with third and short situations being so difficult to pick up? We're always doing the best thing for us, what we feel as though the best thing at the time, regardless of if it works or not. We're always trying to do the best thing at that time for it to work. When it don't work, it don't work. We got to get to the drawing board. I got to coach it better. We'll play it better. Can you give me some some logic or, or what, what was happening on that play? It looked like no. the hole was to go behind Gedeke and Hainsey on that, that run. No, no logic. There was some criticism of your quarterback, Tom Brady, uh, for attending a wedding before the game. Some have said maybe he's not as locked in and as focused as in previous years. What have you seen? What would you say to those folks? Look, Tom's here. Tom's ready to play ball. Tom is Tom. The Tom I know is still here. So when you're in these spots, right, when you're not having as much success, there's opportunity for everyone to say what they want to say, right? People have probably been waiting for years to say this stuff, right? To really get it out and say what they need to say. We understand we're not playing our best football, but I trust this group. I trust the coaching staff. We'll keep working and we'll try to get it turned around. That's all we can really, really do. Now, we're a three and three football team. A lot of people may already thrown dirt on us, right? We'll see. We understand we got a lot of football left. We're just going to keep competing. Keep trying to go out and win football games, and we'll see where we at at the end of the year. So you had no concerns about him missing the walkthrough? Uh, no. Byron, 
you said you guys are, are making plays and decisions based on what you think is best for you. Looking back on Sunday, given how depleted Pittsburgh's secondary was, why wasn't it good to test that secondary with more downfield pass? Well, it's easier to say. A lot of things happened in that game that I really won't go into detail. We just didn't do a good enough job really executing really on any down. We didn't play well enough as an offense, and when you don't, it looks like that. It looks like that anytime you lose football games, that's how you feel. It's always a what if. What if we would have did this? What if we would have did that? Same when you win. You win, you do the same thing. What if we would have did this? What if we would have did that? It could have been a little better here and there. So that's the game. We understand that. We understand where we're at. We're just going to keep chipping, keep working. And I, I, I still like who I have, who we are, the coaching staff, same coaching staff, same everything. We're just going to keep working and try to get this thing turned around. Is the pass blocking good enough to be able to hit some of those downfield shots? or Because I, I, I see Tom's getting rid of the ball even quicker than he has in the past. And, and I also know, too, that, that teams are, are oftentimes forcing you guys to, to check down. And, and they're not blitzing you, but it's like they're, they're not allowing some of those deep shots. Too. No, our, our pass blocking is fine. Our pass, I think we may be one or two in the league as, as far as that. Our pass blocking is fine. Last year, you guys finished uh, number one in the league in explosive plays. Obviously, that's down this year. Talking with Todd yesterday, is there a philosophy change a little bit? Because he said, you know, sustained drives, as long as you finish them, are important. Is that trying to balance out keeping the defense fresh and, and not having those quick offensive strikes? Well, it's not the same team as last year or the team before. That's the biggest difference. It's not the same team. So we're working new people in. We're trying to get to a point where we're playing our better football later in the year. But in the process, you still got to do enough to win games like that last Sunday. So we understand that. We're still working on it. We're going to keep chipping wood, and hopefully we get it done. But I trust that we'll get it done because I trust the people in that locker room. I trust the staff. Is it difficult, Byron, because I mean, it is a different team, right? No Gronk, uh, no AB, we gave you a lot of downfield threats. You've got some fast guys that didn't play a lot in this last game for whatever strategic reasons. You got to you need more speed because, I mean, right now Leonard Fournette seems to be a big part of your offense. He'll continue to be, but he's not going to the house on every play. Yeah, we're just in the process of really just keep continuously trying to put people in position, keep putting them in position to have success. We haven't had as much as we had in the past. Right. We, we're doing some things well. We just ain't done. You guys used to us beating people 38-8, right. 42, 30 points a game, and – we're striving to get that done. We're working to get to that point. And I believe who we are. I told you guys, I believe in this group. I believe in who we are as a staff that we'll get that done. But you can't do it the same way. No, it'll get, it had to be done a completely different way, and we understand that. But we're in the process of trying to get that done. So as we're doing that, there may be some bumps in the road. Hey, man, we're going to keep playing ourselves, keep trying to put ourselves in position. And like I said, at the end of the year, we'll count these numbers up as we do all every year, and we'll see where we're at. Byron, kind of a, a broader question then, um, when you talk about that you're working at it and you're chipping away, how have you seen kind of overall your guys handle the frustration of it's not exactly where you want it to be? Well, it's frustrating because, I mean, it's human nature. We're used to it too. You know, it's frustrating for everyone. Anytime you lose in this league, especially you lose three of, the, three of your four, it's frustrating for everyone. Trust me, we're all walking in the building in the morning frustrated as can be because we're so used to winning and everything we do is about winning football games and we're not doing that right now. But when we're in these tough moments, right, it's not supposed to always be good. How do we react? That's what I love the most about this group. Everybody put their hand in the pile. Nobody begin to point fingers regardless of what's going on. We come in and come to work. That's what I love about this group and I trust that. Now what that's going to mean, what the results going to mean, We'll see. But I trust that process that we go through. We've been in these type of moments before, people throwing dirt on us and everything like that. We'll see. We'll keep working and we'll see. Um, Todd said the other day after the loss that, you know, guys who are living off the Super Bowl success are living in a fantasy land. Have you sensed that there are guys in that locker room maybe living off the Super Bowl? Off the Super Bowl? Yeah. Just From 2020? Right. Uh, no. No, but I don't. I don't really know what he said about that, to be honest with you. He just said anybody who's still living off the success of the Super Bowl is living in a fantasy land, just, you know. Yeah, that's true. Anybody that's living off 2020 Super Bowl, yeah, that's fantasy land. That was, that was almost two years ago. Yes, he's true on that. One of the things that Russell Gage said yesterday was he said that this offense needs more energy, I quote, 
I think there's a lot of times when we're kind of dead, even when we're making good plays. How would you react to that? I don't know. You have to ask Russ what he really meant by that. I'm just asking you to react to what he said. To me. I have no reaction to that. Okay. Byron, you said that you know a lot of times when we see Tom get frustrated, he's at, he's mad at himself. Yeah. The other day he was. He was mad at someone else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've been a quarterback. You 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 rely on those guys. Uh, how do they generally take it? What did you make of, of his exchange there in terms of? Oh, uh, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. They all. Uh, We've built something here, man. We've been together here a while. This group's been together here a while. So we all understand each other. We trust each other that those moments can happen and they never get carried away. That's one thing about this group. Those moments can happen. You know, sometimes they happen on TV where everybody sees them. Sometimes they happen out here on a Friday, a Wednesday, where no one sees it, right? And it may not just be Tom. It may be anyone. So that's football. We understand football. What we're all trying to do is really just trying to play better. And we're working on getting that done. That's really all what that was about. Man, how do we get ourselves to play better ball because we don't like where we're at right now? That's really what that is. And we're working our tail off to get that fixed. Tom said after the game that everybody, self included, needed to look in the mirror. And I didn't know if you've gotten any indication or, or have there been any signs of, of guys doing that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just the way we're coming to work. We understand. Like, this group has been together in tough situations. This ain't the first time we've been in tough situations together as a group. So we're smart enough to know, hey, man, this is a long season. Let's make sure we're focusing on what we need to focus on. And that's, this group is always great with that. This group is always really good with the understanding of how long a season is, the ups and downs in the season. And we're just going to lock in, focus, and try to find a way to get a win this week. There's a lot of talent in this wide receiver room. And uh, throughout some plays this season, you've seen them struggle to get separation, struggle to get open. What have you been doing to kind of schematically and creatively think of ways to get them open and put them in, in advantageous positions where they can make plays? Well, we think of those things every week. Really, since 2019, we get here. That's really our whole thought process of putting guys in position to have as much success as possible. Sometimes you don't have that success, when you do, but that don't mean that we're not still thinking this thing up week in and week out. That's what we go through week in and week out, trying to put guys in position to have as much success as possible. You were talking about the criticism and people throwing dirt on you, and I know you don't take that lightly. You love what you do. What, um, I'd ask you about the players, <laughs> but what's it like for you personally when the team isn't doing so well? Oh, it's miserable when you lose, right? It's, it's This game's about winning and losing. It's not even really about how you play, when you win in this league, you're happy. When you don't win in this league, you're not happy. It's just a part of it. And when you've lost as much as we lost in the past four weeks, we need to find a way to get a good taste in our mouth. So we're just going to keep working, try to put ourselves in position to win football games. Because we like winning them a whole lot more than we like losing them, trust me. How much are you sleeping? Oh, I'm sleeping well. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm sleeping well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>